Hello, welcome to the Lumos Learning Video Center for Grade 6. My name is Luis Anthony Ast. I am a professional mathematics tutor, and I'm here to show you how easy math can be. I will be going over select questions from the diagnostic test that is provided online and in print form. When each question is presented in the video, I want you to pause it right after the choices of A, B, C, and D are listed. Try to answer the question and then press play to see the correct answer and my explanation. Now, let's get started. Which of the following statements is true? Before we can answer this question, I do need to point out that by definition, perpendicular lines do cross and form 90 degree angles. However, any two intersecting lines, for example, this line, and oh, how about something like this, can intersect at any angle. It doesn't have to be 90 degrees. Be something like this, or I can maybe change it to that, or anything you like. Doesn't matter. So now let's go ahead and answer the question. The answer is C. Perpendicular lines must cross to form 90 degree angles, but intersecting lines cross to form angles of varying measures. Fifty percent of sixty-five is approximately equal to the answer is going to be choice C, third. Let's see why. Fifty percent means half of something. To get half of sixty-five can't be difficult, and we only want the approximate value. So let's just think about 65 is very close to 60. Half of 60 is 30. Oh, so that's our best choice. Which of the following is not a quadrilateral? To answer this question, I think it's a good idea to draw each of these figures and then see which one is not quadrilateral. Well, here's a picture of our square, here's a triangle, here's a trapezoid. What about a rhombus? Well, technically a square is a rhombus, but you could do this. Ugh. Rhombus. They're asking which one is not a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral means four-sided figure. Which one of these does not have four sides? The triangle. The answer is B. Which of the following sets below contain only prime numbers? Probably the best way to solve this problem is through process elimination. Try to get rid of numbers that you know are not prime. Quick glance through here, I noticed 49 is not prime. It's divisible by 7. 7 times 7 is 49. So I know A cannot be the answer. Ugh. Everything else seems a little complicated, though. I mean, I know 7 is prime. That should be pretty straightforward. 2 is prime. That's the only even number that's prime. What about the other numbers? Well, there is a trick that a number is divisible by 3 
if you can add up the digits and the result is also divisible by 3. For example, over here, 51. If you add up the digits 5 plus 1, that's 6. 6 is divisible by 3. So I know B cannot be the answer either. Over here, uh, it's going to be 5. Well, I don't, maybe, I don't know. Here's going to be 11. No, it has to be divisible by 3. That's going to be 11. Here's going to be 12. Oh, 12 divisible by 3. So 93 cannot be a prime number. So I can exclude that. Therefore, the answer has to be C. When the expression 3 times a quantity n plus 7 is evaluated for a given value of n, the result is 33. What is the value of n? Choice A, n equals 4, is the answer. To see that, let's go ahead and do what they say here. Let's make this expression equal 33. So you have 3 times the quantity n plus 7 is equal to 33. And you can ask yourself, 3 times what must be 33? Hmm. 3 times 11. Ah, so this inside part must be 11. Let's write that down. The inside part has to be 11. Now you have a number, plus 7 is 11. What must this number be? 4. The measure of an angle is approximately 105 degrees. What type of angle is it? The type of angle we want is obtuse, which is choice C. We can get that result as follows. Let's start off with a 90 degree angle. Well, by definition, a 90 degree angle is a right angle. But we don't have a 90 degree angle, it's 105. So that actually means it's slightly bigger than 90 degrees. So it cannot be choice A, our right angle. What about B? An acute angle, by definition, is an angle that's smaller than 90 degrees, something like this, for example, or maybe like that. But we don't have that. It's 105 degrees. And that is actually the definition of an obtuse angle. The word oblong doesn't even apply to angles. It's just there to try to trick you. How many lines of symmetry does this shape have? As you can see, the shape only has one line of symmetry, so the answer is A. Which of the figures below is not a regular polygon? A regular polygon must have all equal sides and all equal angles. The last choice, the trapezoid, is not a regular polygon. So the answer is D. That was the last problem for this video. Don't worry, if you visit LumusTestPrep.com, you can find hundreds of additional ones.